Hi, my name is Ed Whitovich, and I'm the president of the Catawissa Creek Restoration Association, and this is the Catawissa Creek. We're close to the headwaters, about 35 miles above the Susquehanna River, where the Catawissa dumps in at the town of Catawissa. The stream looks beautiful, and it looks like a pristine trout stream, but don't let uh, looks deceive you. It's actually impacted by abandoned mine drainage. Most people think abandoned mine drainage is orange or black, but in this case it's clear. We don't have the orange from the iron that is associated with so much of it, but in some ways that makes our job easier. CCRA was founded in 1997. Our objective is to restore the water quality of the Catawissa Creek and to make it a fishable stream again. Our motto is soon to be a world-class trout stream. With that in mind, I'd like to take and show you some of the problems and some of the ways we're repairing it and what our wishes are for the future. Hi, we continue our tour of the Catawissa watershed here at the Green Mountain Tunnel. This is one of five mine drainage tunnels that were dug in the 1930s in order to dewater the mines rather than using pumps. Even though the mines closed down over 60 years ago, the effects are still here and the tunnels still work and still drain the water. Again, as you can see, the water is really clear and you can't judge a creek by its color, but it's quite acidic and this is the water that we have to treat in order to restore the life to the Catawissa Creek. This is the Audenry Tunnel Discharge. As you can see, the tunnel has collapsed and the water is upwelling as if it were a giant spring. Right now, there's probably 3,000 to 5,000 gallons per minute of acidified water coming out here. It goes into the box that's under my feet, it goes down through a manifold system, separates into three pipes, and it goes down into our tank. The mine mouth wasn't always where it is now. In 2006, in the flood, it caused the whole mine mouth to blow out, and as you can see, the area behind it is all terraced. We got emergency money from the Pennsylvania Man our Emergency Management and also from Federal Emergency Management with the help of the Conservation District from Schuylkill County and many others able to restore our intake up here. But it took a lot of time and a lot of effort by a lot of people to do that. Hi, right, this is the Audenry Treatment System. The Audenry Treatment System is the largest built on the Catawissa Creek watershed. It's one of three treatment systems that we've built so far. All three systems work on the same principle. We upwell mine water through limestone, allow it to sit long enough, and what the limestone does is help to neutralize the water and remove the acid. The ponds in the background are there to precipitate the aluminum hydroxide that comes out in the water. The aluminum turns out to be the killer element that knocks out the fish and the other uh, critters that live in the water. This system consists of three 120 foot by 12 foot concrete tanks. The water comes in through a pipe system on the bottom and upwells through about 8,000 tons of uh, high calcium carbonate limestone in each tank. Uh, when it's completed, uh, it should be able to help bring back 15 to 20 miles of stream. Hi. We're now in a bridge about halfway between the Audenried project and where the Catawissa dumps into the Susquehanna River. As you can see, it's just a drop-dead gorgeous stream. Our goal is, of course, to make this a world-class trout stream by restoring the water. But how we're going to do this and what it's going to be good for is the next question. And to do that, we formed an access coalition. We've partnered with uh, Trot Unlimited Chapters in Schuylkill and Columbia County, National and State TU, uh, the Conservation Districts of Schuylkill and Columbia County, and a couple of conservancies in order to form access on most of the private property that's along the creek. Uh, as you can see, the stream is just gorgeous, waiting for trout to come in and inhabit it. The plan we were proposed is that the water should be restored to a wild trout fishery. And the reason we did that is because there are over 10 natural wild trout streams that are tributaries to the Catawissa. Uh, it would be self-stocking. And we have proposed that it be managed for catch and release only. And we limit the number of people who have access by the size of the parking areas we put in. And uh, it would be barbless, catch and release only, artificial lures only. And that's our hope and dream for the Catawissa. 
If you'd like to join us to help out, you need more information or make a donation, the contact information is available on our website. Thank you very much. Enjoy our stream.